Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Alexis Frazier, and here's a look at your top stories today. Former President Donald Trump hosting his latest rally in Doral, though his VP pick still remains up in the air. Several GOP Florida lawmakers, including VP contender Marco Rubio, warmed up the large crowd ahead of Trump's appearance. The former president using his return to the campaign trail to attack President Joe Biden after their debate has many questioning Biden's ability to govern for another four-year term. Trump headlined issues that Republicans believe they will can win on, including the border and inflation. A shooting in Miami has left an 11 year old girl in critical condition. The shooting had happened on Tuesday afternoon at an apartment building along 2nd Avenue and Northwest 17th Street. Police say the young girl was hit by gunfire. This is while she was in the apartment. The child's father rushed her to Holtz Children's Hospital and police believe they have the people involved in custody. First on 10, the mother of a woman who was killed while trying to protect her young son in a mass shooting speaks out. Chantrell Holiday says that her 28 year old daughter, Tiara, was shielding her two year old grandson when she was shot and killed outside of a convenience store in Fort Lauderdale. That little boy is now in a medically induced coma. A total of six victims were shot near the intersection of Northwest 7th Street and 10th Terrace. No suspects are in custody, but if you have information about this shooting, call police right away. The Broward Sheriff's Office has released a new surveillance video of a recent fatal shooting and a crash in Tamarack. Video shows two cars speeding side by side on Commercial Boulevard before gunfire erupts between them. Both drivers crash into a concrete wall, sending a part of it crumbling into a resident's backyard. Two men from one of those cars are then seen running away from the scene. Deputies arrive to find Christopher Matherin Jr. dead in one of those vehicles. What led up to the shooting remains under investigation. Well, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.